Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. For us, it's a bittersweet day since we got the bad news about Yellowstone. But before diving into what will happen to the show in the next few months, we would like to take a second to express how much we care about Season 5 of this series, particularly the latest release episode, Episode 8. Yellowstone Season 5 had a very promising start in the beginning as it took the story from a few months after when Season 4 ended with the victory of John Dutton as the governor of Montana. After watching the show for years, we could never imagine John Dutton, our old-school rancher with a very strict lifestyle, would enter politics and become the governor. And yet, here we are watching John trying to learn about state politics while also struggling to form a balance with his former way of living. For a second, it also seemed like Jamie, who has been thrown under the bus by his father and sister during this political race, was going to be okay with John's victory. He joined his campaign and cherished the election night with him. He made his warnings about John's radical actions, but shut up whenever John told him to obey. He even expressed that he resented John for not giving him what was his right to be governor. So Dutton's felt like a normal, healthy, functioning family for a couple of episodes, except for Beth's constant bullying of Jamie. But then Sarah, the new executive of Market Equities, entered Jamie's life and triggered some things in him. We have to admit that during those episodes, we were kind of bored because we got sick of watching a weak Jamie who was blindly following every single manipulative person's direction. Even his banter with Beth started to become underwhelming at that point because Beth always seemed too strong and there were no reasons for us to believe that Jamie would have any chance against her up until the last week's episode. In episode 8, a lot of important developments took place. In fact, calling these developments important wouldn't be enough. They were critical in Yellowstone's storyline moving forward. First, Jamie did what he and Sarah had planned and called for the Senate to impeach John for his crimes against Montana, aka ruining tourism by canceling the deal with market equities. Then Beth rushed to Jamie's home to threaten him with sharing the photos of him carrying his dead father. At that point, something none of us have expected happened. Jamie regained his power by proving that he is way smarter than any of us gives him the credit for. He says she cannot release those pictures because if she exposes Jamie, she would also expose her father, John. How? Well, apparently Jamie buried Garrett's body in their traditional family cemetery or the place where they bury the bodies of their enemies for the past century. With this new information, we can finally say that there is a fair fight between Jamie and the rest of the Duttons, and we cannot wait to watch it. Unfortunately, though, it might take a lot of time for us to explore what will happen next in Yellowstone. As you know, for the first time in Yellowstone history, Season 5 is decided to be released in two parts. It seems like Taylor Sheridan is following the footsteps of Netflix in that respect. At first, we assume that the break will take place during the Christmas and New Year's Eve weeks, and then we will move on to Part 2. But then it's revealed that even though there will be a break on Christmas week, it will not be the official long break that we have been expecting. Instead, the show will continue for one more episode on New Year's Eve, which will be the final episode of Part 1, and then we will wait for Part 2 for who knows how long. Yes, you heard it right. There is no official announcement on when to release Part 2 of the season. In fact, according to Piper Parabo, who portrays Summer Higgins in the series, they didn't even start the filming of Part 2. Can you believe it? Well, we certainly cannot. This means that it might take months for the new episodes to be released. In other words, we are expecting Part 2 of Yellowstone Season 5 to be released during the summer of 2023. What are our expectations from Part 2, though? As we just said, there's finally a fair fight in the show which will be fun to watch, but it also means that it will be more violent than ever. We watch both Jamie and Beth, plotting to kill one another, which is huge. If this was any other series, we would consider those scenes simply as a bluff. And yet, knowing Yellowstone, we are aware of the high stakes and the character's capability of committing various crimes. We know that John normally cares for Jamie and wouldn't let such a thing happen. Of course, he doesn't live with Jamie as much as his biological children, but still, he cares for him enough to let Beth know he wouldn't like to see him dead. After all, he is the one who raised him. Still, Jamie's betrayal was too big to ignore, and this time John has no reason to protect Jamie. Thus, we believe John will give full freedom and independence to Beth and her plans against Jamie. In other words, we will watch Beth in her full force, which is frightening to even think about. When it comes to Jamie, we believe he will play his cards safer and make sure that he hires the most professional names to do his dirty business. Of course, Sarah's assistance is irreplaceable for him, and he will cherish her for that. We also should remember that Casey and Monica will finally be back in the Yellowstone Ranch, meaning that they will also have some roles in this fight. Will Casey be able to act against Jamie, though? We are not sure. As far as Rip is concerned, we believe he will have a relatively calm life in the 4-6's ranch for a while, only to find himself in the midst of fire when he returns. 
That being said, we have to add that we expect to watch Beth and Rip in the Four Sixes series, which is likely to be released during Spring 2023. So we will not miss the couple so much until Part 2 of Yellowstone Season 5 is released. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone Season 5 Part 1? Who are you rooting for? Jamie or Beth? Do you think John would kill his son? What about Casey? Who will he side with? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.